more activity in the apartment market compared to the villa market. Both markets clearly very strong with a 12.5% and a 38% increase respectively. Hello, I'm John Lyons, Managing Director of Espas Real Estate, and today I would like to bring you our market insights for Q3. I'd like to compare how the market performed in Q3 this year compared to Q3 last year, and as I have done on previous videos, take a deep dive into the communities at a more local level. I'm gonna break down the apartment market from the villa market because there's two different stories there. And to start with, we'll talk about the villa market. Villa market has been incredibly active and what I've done is looked at the what I consider to be 10 of the most well-known freehold villa markets in Dubai. I'll put those on the screen now. And as you can see, some well-known communities there's been an overall increase in activity in the villa market. Six of the communities have seen a significant increase, while four of the communities have seen a marginal decrease. Although the communities that have seen the marginal decrease are the smaller communities with less transactions, and therefore I don't think we can read too much into that because that probably falls within the standard deviation that would be associated with a small time frame and a small data set. If you look at the 10 communities combined, you can see a 12.5% increase in the total number of properties that changed hands during the quarter compared to the same period last year. So that's a very positive good news story for the activity in the villa market. If we look at the apartment market, I've looked at seven really well-known apartment communities. They're on the screen now. As you can see, very well-known communities you will be familiar with them, I'm sure. Only one community saw a decrease, and that's JBR by 20%. The communities that saw the greatest increase is Pam Jumeirah, which saw an increase of 79%. Now, the community that saw the decrease, JBR, saw the decrease mainly because there was a lot of properties that changed hands last year in Q3 from the handover of the address hotel. So that distorts the figures slightly. Underlying interest in JBR is still high, and it is as you would expect given the buoyancy in the rest of the apartment market. If you look at the seven communities combined, you have a lot of transactions, and you can see that there's 38% more transactions in Q3 this year compared to the same period last year for the apartment market. So a lot more activity in the apartment market compared to the villa market, but both markets clearly very strong with a 12.5% and a 38% increase respectively. In terms of our own performance, Espas Real Estate's Q3 performance, we have sold 12.6% more properties in the quarter compared to the same quarter last year. The total value of those properties is 39% greater compared to last year, and the average selling price of each property is up 23%. So across all metrics, you can see this continuing sign of buoyancy within the market. Rising interest rates is certainly something that is in the press. It's something to consider and it's something to be aware of. But at the moment, the mortgage market is still holding up very strong. You can still get a three-year fixed rate mortgage product for 4.5% which is the same as you could get in 2014, for example. And you can get a five-year fix for 4.84%. That allows you to fix your rate for a five-year period and you no longer have to take part in any further increases in interest rates that might come in the months ahead. To bring this Market Insights video to a conclusion, the three key takeaways are that market transaction activity remains very strong. Prices, although rising, remain stable, and demand is well outstripping supply and looks like it is going to continue to do so in the months ahead. I think this all sets the market up for ongoing buoyancy as we look ahead towards 2023.